Well, I just attempted to uh, live stream for the first time. Not very successful. I recorded for about a minute and uh, it recorded seven seconds down there. So uh, I know right now our internet speed is very slow. I think the upload is one meg. So I'll probably pay for the two meg service uh, next year uh, after December here. So uh, maybe I'll be able to live stream and uh, I probably should try and get my uh, camera on this monitor to work because the uh, MacBook that I have is a 2010 I believe and so um, it's just old it records in uh, square format and not uh, widescreen so definitely have to look into improving the uh, the live stream Warm. Pretty much all the ones in Louisiana. Guys, some ponds are warm. Yeah, some ponds are warm. Yeah. <laughs> Otis is going the wrong way. <laughs> They're neck and neck. <laughs> Otis laps Stuart three times. <laughs> So I was getting out of my dad's car last week and bent my knife, uh, the clip here, and so uh, this is actually my old one and it also has too much give in the clip. So I have to fix both of them and he has this uh, star bit set here which is what is required to open up the knife. So I'm going to pull this off and see if I can bend it with some uh, channel locks. For Christmas, I received some popcorn, and uh, apparently, you can just put it in a brown bag and put it straight into the microwave. And uh, my brother in law says that a staple is shorter than the wavelength of a microwave, so that you can actually put a staple in the microwave and it won't catch things on fire. So I thought that I would attempt to pop some of this popcorn real quick. So apparently you just take some of the popcorn and put it in a brown bag. Not exactly sure how much you're supposed to put in there. Whoa. I'll just try about that much. Might be a fun experiment here. Then fold the bag over once, and then put a staple in there. Okay, so we've got a microwave popcorn button up here. Uh, press start. Okay, and you're supposed to uh, wait till you hear it stop popping. Seems to be slowing down pretty good. Got uh, 15 seconds. Right, I'll go ahead and stop it just in case. I'd hate for it to burn. I smell that it already has butter on it. Full bag right there. Nice. Mm. No, no butter. But it is fluffy. Got it, Spencer. But you try it. 
try and follow me or go near Jason? She's gonna be my first call. Well, it's the day after Christmas, and uh, family is still in town for a few more days. But while they're all at home relaxing, I thought I would do a little bit more work out here on the workshop. So I'm heading over to the tiny house to get a roll of R13. Let's see what I want. Gonna get a roll of R13 insulation that I've got over here. Okay. Ooh, I also want that. I'm thinking about ripping this down and using it as uh, both sides of the workshop because that should be about the height that I need. Good, okay. So take that over there. And then also, I was thinking about the stairs over there. I don't think any of the pieces I have are gonna be long enough. So I'm gonna have to cut some that was left over. Uh, anyway, I'm just rambling, but I do want to get this roll of insulation here. Uh, hopefully I can get one good section done. Ooh, that was loud. For Christmas, Emma received a bassinet and uh, I managed to get it assembled here. It's um, got these little baskets down here and then there are some red clips down here that can be disconnected and it allows the whole thing to uh, swing, which is pretty cool. And a little light back here. Oh, I have to turn the whole thing on first. Yes, yeah, so there's a light and then it has a vibration. That's cool. And then this little music player. Um, also, apparently my mom thinks that they're dirty around here. Maybe I should say she knows that I don't keep a very clean house. And she got us this Bissell cleaner down here. Uh, so it's got batteries, or you, you charge it up by a cable here. And it just has brushes that spin and this little tray. And at first I thought wasn't going to like it very much, but you know what? It's really nice. It picks up more than I expected. So you just go along and it sweeps things up for you. I'm probably going to end up doing an actual review on this product because it does work so well. Okay, let's see how we did here. Okay, so this is what Ashley's talking about when she says that I am not a very clean person. That's just one quick pass around the house. Anyway, I can see this thing is gonna be pretty handy. And then when you're done with it, you just plug it back up here. There we go. And it charges. Just took the trash from Christmas to the convenience center. Back whenever we first moved up to North Carolina, my mom saw the sign to the convenience center and thought that it said convention center. <laughs> so whenever I'm uh, talking to family, it's always going to go up to the convention center <laughs> and the last video I made where I went up there I almost said that so if for some reason you're watching one of my videos and I say uh, heading up to the convention center you'll know why. Got some uh, parts here for uh, getting the power to the building uh, the workshop so that should be fun and uh, my brother-in-law is still here we're gonna go up to Lowe's tomorrow I believe and uh, buy a few more things and hopefully we'll be wrapping up the power so looking forward to having that out in the building
we had a nice thick frost last night and I just stepped up onto the porch uh, or tried to. I knew that I was building it a little bit steep, but uh, <laughs> I may have to put some of those uh, strips of um, kind of like sandpaper flooring down. I forget what they're really called, but just provides a lot more traction because that's not going to work. Um, maybe I could come back and put steps up in the corner, but I think just adding that um, on here would be good because it's too steep and too slippery when frosted. Last week you got to see me clean out a spot for my brother-in-law to ride in the car. Well this week they want to bring uh, my niece and so she's got to have a car seat spot. And uh, there's a little problem, and it's this. <laughs> so I'm just going to move this stuff to the back, and uh, we'll have a spot for her seat. Well, I think I've got the seat cleared enough for the car seat, but it's filthy. So hopefully my shop vac here will take this battery. exactly sure that's the one that's supposed to go with it. I would assume that it is. Hmm. I don't know. This is not a battery directly from DeWalt, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Aha! Gotta push it hard enough. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's try it out now and see what happens. That's air out. This is air in. So that means we should pull this one and use it. Okay, my battery's dead. <laughs> well, got the car cleaned out enough for my brother-in-law and my niece. Uh, gonna put this vacuum back in the work, uh, not workshop, but tiny house for now. Uh, the plan today is to go uh, shopping at Lowe's and REI, and then I believe we're gonna go to uh, a brewery tour, the same place that uh, I had uh, the meet and greet for Wrangler Star, so that should be exciting. But uh, for now, I'm going to put this away, and then I'm going to go edit the video that you're watching currently. So you can watch that, and uh, you'll have to see the video of us touring that brewery and all that next week. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. As always, thumbs up, and I will see you next week in another Land House vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.